and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at a very impressive transport vehicle that could double as a weapon of mass destruction in the right hands. This is the Dusty Rusty MT-9, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a single tracked vehicle that can carry a fairly big vehicle inside it and they can easily get up and down thanks to the ramps that can be deployed all the way down to the ground. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Dusty Rusty is 4,017 small blocks using the Warfare 2 and Heavy Industry DLC pack. We can see a little bit of information about it on the Steam Workshop page, but we'll just give it a thumbs up, move all the way around to, well, I guess we'll start over here. We'll have a quick look around the outside, then we'll drive it around for a bit and I'll show you how surprisingly stable this thing is to drive around. So all the way over to here at the very front, and excusing the frame rates, it is rather taxing on my computer. This is what we get. So we've got one hell of a lot of wheel suspensions with our teeny tiny wheel blocks, and a bunch of batteries lining the middle with a bunch of hinges connecting it all together. So as to bring the sun all the way back around and we'll get close up at that if I can bring the sun over here. So here's the hinges on the side connecting up to our wheel suspensions. Here's the hinges that connect up to our batteries. That just goes all the way across, all the way around this vehicle, so we get over to this section right here, which is how we're going to drive this thing around and possibly the most safest part of this vehicle. So simply a little walkway, we've got some half corner blocks with some steel plates along the top acting as railing. We've got a helmet in the middle to drive this thing around as well as deploy the ramps on either side to allow your vehicle to get in and out. You have to come all the way across over to this section, it's just even more wheels. Then we have to come all the way down and underneath it, you guess it, the same setup. But how is this all being linked together? Well, if we come over to this part, this is what's going on. So we've got a bunch of wheels underneath it, which are moving forwards and then ultimately moving the wheel suspensions all the way around the vehicle. Anyway, moving back and taking a look at it on the side, we see a bunch of blast or edge blocks, which is going to be for our ramp to deploy all the way down to the ground. We've got a button on the left hand side. We have a ladder then on the right hand side to go all the way up to that helm. And we can see a couple of lights to make sure you can see that logo clearly at night. What's come all the way around to the opposite side is basically going to be the same. There we go. It was to peek the camera all the way into here. This is where your vehicle is going to be stored. It's got one hell of a lot of magnetic plates along the floor, and that is for good measure. You don't want your vehicle wobbling around in this, otherwise you could end up on Mars. But as for the rest of the room, we've got a bunch of buttons. The big buttons on the side are simply to deploy the ramps. The buttons in the middle are to lock and unlock the magnetic plates. Then we simply got an access point for changing anything on the vehicle. There we go, if we take a look all the way up, there's a bunch of batteries. Then if we come across onto the opposite side, it's exactly the same. As for the doors itself, that's what we get. So it should be nice and bright inside here because without the light on, it's very dark apart from the light glowing on the buttons and the little gaps at the top. And there we go, that is a very brief look around the outside of the Dusty Rusty MT-9. It's bloody fantastic how it's all been set up. I'm kind of scared how people make these type of things when you consider how clangy things can get. But yes, now I can just grab hold of my character, come over to here, we can press this button and bring down this ramp. So that's going to come all the way down to the ground, allowing you to get a vehicle easily up and inside. And here we go, I found the Kuda M2, which is one of the few vehicles that can fit inside here. Although I'm not sure how I'm actually going to rotate it inside, because you can't do the GTA thing of holding down the handbrake just doing a u-turn gonna undo that drive up to here see how dangerous this is and we'll go and probably drive this thing around here we go all the way up and we're now going to come inside it's just about in i don't know how long this is going to take for me to fill this all the way round but it looks like we can just about do this come on all the way through might damage a few of the blocks and you know what that'll do quite nicely so we're just going to hop out of here, risk playing with fire by closing that up, that should move it into place, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll just shuffle across, to, come on, you can do this, and there we go, that's coming across quite nicely, just had to turn up the power just a little bit, and that looks fine. So now I'm going to come across to the button and snap it in place, and that should do quite nicely. I'm not going to risk closing that up, so I'm just going to hop myself out of here, and we'll come all the way up to this ladder. <laughs> and, uh, let's just ignore that wheel poking through there. Anyway, climbing all the way up to here, we'll just climb it properly. 
this is what we get. We can see the wheels on the side there and the lovely rusted blocks. We're almost at the top here. And there we go. So now we're up here. We can get a good view all the way around us. We now walk all the way across over to the helm, come into here, and these are the buttons we get. So pressing number one or number two is simply going to be for the ramp on either side to open and close them. So now what we can do is undo the parking brake. I'm going to drive this thing around. She's hiding the HUD for the moment and we'll start to move forwards. And that is what it does. So there goes the wheels just turning everything around. It's going to be very, very clangy. It's not going to go very fast, but it should be extremely stable while attempting to climb a hill. So here we go. Now I'm going to turn this thing all the way around if I can. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. So we are at a bit of a wonky angle and is a vehicle quite dodgily parked inside. And to my surprise, it's made it over this little lip. I did hear something break, so I think the vehicle could have come loose in the middle there. I can still see the wheel on the side. And now we're going to come down this little ramp, or down this little dune, and we'll see what kind of speed we can get up to. Because we're currently doing about 7 meters per second. And here we come all the way down. 14, 15, 16. And I think it's going to cap out at about 20 meters per second. Yes, it is. But here we go. That is going very, very quickly. I'm really surprised this is staying in one piece because I thought the game would have clanged out by now and just blown everything up. But we're charging along. And I think I'll just go and drop down this side part and we'll see how the vehicle's doing on the inside. And there it is. It's still wobbling around and I think something just fell out of the vehicle. But I'm sure that'll be fine when I just go and close that up. I think we lost the wheel, which is definitely my fault. And away we go. So now one final thing to do is, of course, come to a stop over here. I'm going to remove the speed limit, increase the power of the wheels, and we'll see what kind of speed we can go up to, and that'll be that for this. And here we go. I, I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. It is just deconstructing itself. There goes all the wheels. All I did was turn up the power, and now we are just losing wheels everywhere. This is what I expected happening when I put the vehicle dodgily inside. But there we go, we now lost our little track around the back there. And we might be able to free, I might be able to free this vehicle, but it doesn't look like it, it looks like it's stuck. But anyway, that is it for the Rusty Dusty, or the Dusty Rusty MT9. It's a fantastic looking vehicle, very unique with how it's been set up, and very well done if you don't mess around with the wheel settings. But anyway, there'll be a link to inscription below if you do wish to download it and play around for yourself. Highly recommend you do, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye-bye.